I'm looking way at the back of this shelf, and I think I may have just found an unbelievable piece of history for five ninety nine. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. In my last video, I shared with you my beautiful curio cabinet that I found in one of my favorite thrift stores, Thrift and More in Yermo, California. I uh, had cleaned it up and styled it with some of my favorite pieces. And I was overwhelmed by the amazing comments you left for me. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> I am excited to share with you some more of my collections and favorite pieces in upcoming videos. Today, I'm going to try the Goodwill that's located just down the street on Rainbow. It's a little further south but uh, I want to mix things up a bit and uh, try a different location just for a change. We'll see how we do. We are walking up to Goodwill here. This is a bigger location than the one I normally go to. So I am excited to see what they have. I'm wondering when they're going to put out their Halloween and fall items because I'm really excited to start to shop for the holidays. So let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting. Let's grab a cart. This particular Goodwill doesn't like you to bring in anything with you. They ask that you check in all extra bags at the front counter. So I don't have my thrifting Vegas blanket today. I didn't want to upset anybody, but let's have a look and see what they have. Here is a little bird ornament under a dome. Unfortunately, the glitter is flaking off and it doesn't have a price. So I am going to leave that for somebody else. There are some cruise line advertising plates here. They are priced at $10, which doesn't leave me much room for resale. Lots of collector plates. Some little figurines here. Here is a little milk glass pitcher. I am trying really hard to only select items that have a 15 to $20 and above profit margin for me on eBay. Uh, the cost of shipping supplies has really increased lately as has shipping. So 20, 15 to 20 and above is the sweet spot for me. Here is a Thanksgiving centerpiece. This is a big lots piece. They're asking $13. Lots of Holland or Atlantic mold project pieces here, little angels. This is either a large sake cup or a planter. Moving into the candles and candle holders here. I have been asked how I know when I found a glassy baby. The quality is superior. Uh, they're larger than you think they are. And uh, they have a stamp on the bottom. They call it a birthmark uh, with the word glassy baby. And also sometimes there's a sticker. These are really lovely, made in Italy. Uh, ceramic olive dishes. Unfortunately, they have some chipping to them and they're not vintage. I believe these are 
relatively modern pieces so because of that damage I am going to leave those little souvenir plates more candles over here this is a similar look to glassy baby but the quality is isn't there I'm moving things around making sure I check the whole shelf down on the bottom is a really big fan let's go around to the other side I think there are more candles over here and then it goes into holiday items I think that is a bed pan but this is gorgeous not exactly sure what it is possibly a wall pocket one of the roses is missing the edge of a petal on one side but I don't think that hurts it it's barely noticeable really gorgeous piece I think it's ceramic would look lovely with some pink or yellow flowers in it so let's make that the first item we pop in our cart checking the candles over this side these are woodwick candles if this was unused I would pick it up they make a crackly sound like wood when you light the wick they're lovely here is a little rooster plate I missed over the other side it's a bit chipped only four dollars original price this looks like a quite an interesting vase all those holes though I wouldn't want to ship that Down here we have a little music box, some porcelain flowers, not marked. I think these are lampshades. And another mold piece says BT Ceramics Nevada. It's a little nursery rocking horse. It's quite a nice mug. Oh, she is really interesting. She looks like clay. Absolutely fantastic detail. She's got an armful of fruits. She's absolutely lovely. Let's definitely grab her. She's $4.99. The realism is fantastic. She does have a little chipping in her bonnet, but I don't think that matters too much. It's a little angel. It's a Bath and Body Works uh, empty candle. Again, if that was unused, it would be a great find. Many of the discontinued Bath and Body Works candles sell really, really well for me. Those uh, candle holders were not vintage, just made in India. This is interesting. I'm really not sure what it is. Probably just a decorative item. Let's have a peek in this box and see what's in here. This is a collector plate. more decorative bits it's a little shoe I thought it was wood but it's actually plastic this is a candle holder it's a bit rusty around the base lots more plates This is interesting. World's Fair 1904. Unfortunately, this is missing a lot of its gold overlay. 
but I am going to pop it in the cart and uh, check its worth on eBay solds. I have a feeling it's not going to be worth much with the damage of the missing gold, but we shall see. Some little Thanksgiving mice here. Those are fun. Really modern. More plates. Oh, look at this little elephant. He's really fun. Looks quite vintage. $2. I'll have a think about him. Let's grab our plate so we don't forget it. This is a project piece, a mold piece. Not signed. Here we are in the Christmas section. Here is a little Santa figurine. He's playing an accordion. Oh, he's definitely vintage. Brins made in Japan. Let's grab him. That guy is broken. It's a project piece Christmas tree. Santa playing accordion. Quite an unusual piece. Here is Jesus in a manger. It's odd because you usually find a nativity scene and it's missing Jesus. But here is Jesus and here is a quite a pretty red star. Sadly, it's missing a couple of points. So uh, we will leave that. But let's take Jesus here. It's got felt on the bottom. I have a feeling he might be vintage, but I'm not familiar with the set that he comes from. Let's put these two safely in our cart. Let's have a look at this little bowl. It's a modern piece. What else is in here? Oh, I thought that might have been fire and light glass for a second but I don't think it is I don't see a signature at all on it it's just a little glass tea light holder this looks like Wedgwood but I think it is somebody's project they did quite a nice job actually not bad at all little tree basket this looks like Lennox. That's interesting. It has a big chip on the bottom though, so we will leave that. This is an interesting project piece. Very, very heavy. I think it's a trivet. We are in the woods and the signs and the trays here. Some Easter plaques. Quite a few project pieces today. Looks like an arrowhead. Some geese. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Some baskets and holders here. It's quite a nice bowl is six dollars though oh what is this this looks like a vintage oh vintage tissue box holder with an owl on it this is really a fun piece I really like that. It could definitely use some mineral oil on it, but uh, you rarely see 
an applied owl on a tissue box there. Quite unique. I love the dovetailing of that box. This is an interesting letter holder. I think I'll pass though. Oh, this on the other hand is fantastic. It looks like mahogany. It needs a good clean deviled egg holder. Oh, has its original sticker. Handmade in Haiti. This also could use some mineral oil. But it is beautiful. What a lovely piece of wood. Let's definitely pop that into our cart and keep going. Lots of storage and racks. Some letters here. More plaques and boxes. It's a little trivet. Let's pop around the other side. This looks like metals. It's another bird plate here. That's cardinals. This is a napkin holder. It's quite nice. It's $3.99. Unfortunately, there is some damage on it. The corners are very chipped. This is an interesting piece. I believe it's a bookend. It's metal with a tennis theme. It's very, very interesting. I'm not sure whether that piece is broken off or whether it's just the, I think it's just the design of the bag. It's $5.99. I'm going to pop this in the cart and see if we can find the other bookend. And we'll also look it up on eBay to see, um, what it goes for. Just checking this for a mark. Poor little elephant is missing the end of his trunk there. We'll leave him. It's a little candle holder there. It's a bit rusted. Some sconces down there. some CD racks. Here is a vintage sign or made to look vintage. Unfortunately, it does seem to have some color fading. We'll leave that. Just checking that tray for the quality of it. Loads of racks, more sconces. Here is a little gravy boat. I think it's just stainless steel though, not marked. I'm looking way at the back of this shelf and I think I may have just found an unbelievable piece of history for $5.99. This is a piece of copper. It's really, really old. And I could be wrong, but I think what this is, is an antique bed warmer or a heat, a space heater. It's absolutely fantastic. It appears to be hammered and uh, hand decorated. Look at the detail of this. It's unbelievable. This is going straight in my cart. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. You just never know. That's why it's important to check every single aisle of your Goodwill. 
not sure what this is possibly some sort of garden decoration hanging decoration it's too big to be a necklace and that isn't crystal it's plastic oh look at this gorgeous plate it's absolutely lovely it's it's reverse painted I don't normally pick these up but the quality of this one is fantastic and I love the green with the gold and then the silver edging it is $5.99 but it's a beautiful piece be really lovely for the holidays with some silver and red or gold Christmas balls in it brass is really popular at the moment brass and copper just checking these pieces for quality they're very 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 thin so I am going to leave these here is a vintage silver plated bread basket those were selling quite well for me for a while and then the market got just a bit flooded and uh, now they are tending to sit so I'm not going to pick any more up looks like a jewelry rack back there here we are in the vase and planter aisle the shelves are just a bit sparse here some baggies of fruit and table decorations an Easter wreath, little planter box, spray of holly there, little lucky bamboo planter, Here is another one of those little pots that was over here. Let's grab this one and put it over with its friend for a pair. There we go. Lots of florist pieces here. This is a nice drip glaze vase, but it does have a telltale floor there that tells me it's not a quality piece very lightweight as well as is this one fun little dolphins this is quite nice but again just an inexpensive planter oh look at this somebody if I'm not mistaken, has spray painted a vintage brass vase <laughs> and uh, it's only four dollars. Let's take this with us and in a future how-to video we will see if we can actually strip that spray paint off of the vase. That's exciting. I love a beautiful vintage brass vase. Oh, that's paper mache peeling off there. Here is a jug. It's just a modern, quite lightweight piece. Lots more florist pieces. Oh, this is interesting. This is a blown glass little creamer or pitcher. You can tell by the pontal on the bottom there. It has an applied handle. Uh, originally $3.99. It looks very, very vintage. Only $2. We will take this, pop it in our cart, and uh, when I get it home, I will clean it up and remove that enormous um, bow from it. Let's see if there's anything else interesting.
both modern pieces there. Quite a bit of clear. Oh, what's this? Oh, that is, that's plastic. That fooled me. I thought it was like a carnival glass fade. Here is a aisle of plastics and the plates and dishes and bowls on the other side. Little vase has made its way over here. I think somebody must have changed their mind on that. We are here in the kitcheny bits and I've spotted several pieces I want to look at. Unfortunately, that lovely bird picture has a massive crack in it. This is cross gill china. Uh, there are some quite common patterns of this, but this one I think is a more hard to find one. It's a vase, so I am going to pop this in the cart. And this is a Quimper of France salt shaker. I'm wondering if I pop this in the cart, I can find the pepper to match it somewhere on these shelves. Let's keep our fingers crossed and keep an eye out for another yellow shaker. Lots and lots of items on the kitcheny bit shelves. Some tongs, cups and plates, bakers, ice cream dishes there. This apple reminds me of the uh, olive dish. Look at this little turkey guy. I think he might be handmade. He's pottery. Is he a um, pie bird, I wonder? Not sure what he's for. He has a couple of chips, but I don't think that matters. Teapot. Modern piece. It's a metal seal little canister there. I think this is an Arcarok vase. It's quite pretty, but just not a very quick seller. It's $2.99. I think I will pop it in the cart and just check its recent sold value on eBay. It's a little Wedgwood project piece again. Some canisters. It's a little individual creamer there. It's got a big chip on the side, sadly. Here are some Corel Spring Blossom little hook cups. This is another example of something that used to sell quite well, but now I think it's a slow mover on eBay because the market is quite flooded. Nevertheless, I have put them in my cart and I'm going to check recent solds on eBay just to be sure I'm not missing something good. Here is a little New Orleans World's Fair bell with a hot air balloon. 
this too is probably a piece I will pop in my cart and check on eBay. Oh, look at this. This looks like a very antique copper piece made in the USSR with a number. I think this originally had a wood handle. So let's take it. It's a soup tureen. It's quite lightweight, not as heavy as I would like it to be. Not marked, so we will leave it. Anchor hocking cake dome. Let's put our little Russian pot and the bell in the cart which is getting quite full. Here is a vintage bowl with a applied silver plate rim. Little cupboard serving dish, sadly huge chip on the handle. Some jars, canisters, it's a fun little crystal jug. Unfortunately, only about a twelve to fifteen dollar piece. It's a nice water pitcher there. Here is a fun little vintage canister. I really like the detail. It's a lovely design. Possibly anchor hocking. It's got its stopper. It doesn't have a gasket. I'm not sure whether it originally had one. But this is definitely a lovely old piece. So we will take that. Here's a milk glass lid to something. More bowls and jars, serving dishes, so much clear glass. I am going to take a minute and look up this tennis bookend uh, on the eBay app. I've typed in metal tennis bookend and I'm going to scroll down to see, oh look, right there, vintage metal tennis racket bag balls, bookends Hong Kong, only $17 for the pair and $27.75 shipping. It's even discounted, so that is going to go back on the metal shelf. Let's pop it in a spot over here. There we go. Hopefully someone else will like it. I just remembered something I wanted to grab and then I got distracted and that was this little copper kettle here. I thought it would look absolutely lovely with a little ivy or air plant sitting in it. Here we are in the artwork. I really like how this store lays out their artwork. It's not too crammed together so you can actually see what they have. Lots of canvases here. I'm taking a look at any piece I see with an older looking or wooden frame. Wooden frames are most likely to hold vintage originals. This one is a print. 
I absolutely love original oils and watercolors. Again, this is quite fun, but it is a print, not an original piece. Gary Patterson. So much artwork. Lots of florals. Some stitchery here. The subject matter is very important with stitchery. Oh, this is quite a fun piece. Birds on a birdhouse. Just not quite my style, so I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Here is a beach scene, which I love, but that is a print as well. Over here in this little corner area are the small frames and pictures. Up here I've spotted another piece of stitchery. Not sure if I can reach. There we go. <laughs> Not quite tall enough for that shelf. Here it is. It is a vintage piece. It says, Welcome. It's a little desk with a lamp. is a nice piece but again not exactly my style here we are in the lamps having a look I do like the design of that one it's not vintage Oh, look at these. I wonder if these little table lamps would fit uh, beneath the ceramic Christmas trees. They are vintage. I have several of the ceramic trees with the little lights that don't have bases. And for a dollar ninety-nine a piece, I am going to take a chance on these two to see if they fit. I should probably take them over to the testing area to make sure they work. But we will definitely grab the pair of these. Having a wander through the furniture just to see what they have. On my left is their electronics section. Some chairs and tables. Chest of drawers here. Lots of shelves. I should definitely come to this Goodwill more often because we are looking for some pieces of furniture for our home.
Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Ziggy is here, fast asleep in his box. First we have what I believe is a beautiful wall pocket. It is ceramic. It's very delicate, beautiful. It could be tied easily with a ribbon and hung on the wall and you could pop fresh flowers or some silk flowers in it. It does have a little chip to the petal here and to the leaf, but when you look at it, it's just not noticeable. I believe I paid $4 for it and I am going to ask $20. Next, we have this stunning serving plate. It looks so beautifully tropical to me. I don't think it's a, an especially valuable piece. It is reverse painted, it does have a couple of little uh, places on the edge where the paint has uh, peeled away. But it is just a stunning piece. I love the gold with the green, very tropical. It almost looks like a palm leaf. Just lovely. I did give it a wash because it was very grimy. I paid uh, $6 for it and I am going to ask $20. In the middle here, we have our absolutely stunning mahogany deviled egg dish. It's just beautiful. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but I will. It just needs a really good coat of oil to clean that up. Just a lovely piece of wood. It doesn't have any uh, cracks in it at all. Just super mid-century serveware for deviled eggs and uh, some olives in the middle or tomatoes, whatever you'd like. I paid $6 for it and I am going to ask $30. Over here we have our beautiful blown glass little pitcher here. I uh, removed the raffia bow from it gave it a wash. It does need a little bit of vinegar inside to get rid of some residue there. It has an applied handle, pontal on the bottom, vintage price tag of $3.99. Just a lovely little piece for either milk or you could pop some pretty flowers in it for a centerpiece. I paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $18. This is our beautiful single Quimper of France salt shaker. I could not find the pepper. I tried, I looked everywhere. There's the signature on the bottom. Just a lovely, lovely piece and I am hopeful that someone out there is in need of a match for their pepper. I paid 99 cents for it and I shall probably end up listing it on eBay for 20 or $25. I'm not exactly sure what this fellow's purpose is. 
He is a lovely clay turkey, I believe. He has gold jewel eyes, a little hat, and three holes in the back. I don't know if um, he held some little serveware pieces, some forks. Don't think he's intended to dispense anything because there's no way to fill him. But he's very, very fun. He does have a little chip on the back of his hat. But he has so much character. I love his little beak and wings and eyes. He's got some very expressive eyebrows. He looks quite concerned about something. <laughs> I paid $3 for him and I am going to ask $18. I was very excited to find this vase because as you can see, somebody has actually painted a vintage brass vase over with silver paint and I am itching to try to remove that silver paint and bring it back to its former glory. It looks like a beautiful piece so I'm hoping that uh, with any luck I will be able to remove all of the silver and restore the brass vase to its original finish. I paid four dollars for it and we shall see how it turns out. Over here we have what I believe is an English relish jar that originally came in a set of two in a silver plated uh, holder. Um, unfortunately I could not find the other pieces at Goodwill but uh, when I next go back there, I will definitely have another look. It's a lovely, lovely piece. Detail is super. I paid $3 for it. And on its own, I shall ask $15. This lady is absolutely stunning. I believe she is... Uh, Jamaican folk art. The detail of her lovely face and the fruits she is holding is so fantastic. She's wearing a lovely floppy hat. Unfortunately, it does have a little chip here and her pineapple uh, has a couple of chips on its leaves there. Otherwise, she is in super condition absolutely stunning piece. I've never actually seen anything like her. Just lovely. She's not signed. I paid five dollars for her and I am going to ask twenty five dollars. Back here we have our stunning owl Kleenex box. It is vintage it's uh, nicely grooved here, just really well put together. It does need a good coat of oil. I paid $2.99 for it. And I am going to ask $25. This is a beautiful piece. It's a cross skill china piece, hand painted. The design is by Sherry Bloom. Absolutely lovely color lilies on it. I believe it's part of a bathroom set, possibly a toothbrush holder, but it could be used as an absolutely stunning little vase. It's just lovely, the subtle colors, the green, pinks, and yellow on there are just beautiful. Actually goes quite well with my counter. <laughs> I, pay, uh, I paid $2 for it, and I am going to ask $15. 
This is a vintage Russian coffee pot, I believe. Originally, it would have had a wooden handle uh, that would have been secured with nails through these holes. It does say made in the USSR with a number on the bottom. Just a great historical piece, really neat. It has a hammered finish. I paid $2.99 for it. I'm going to ask $20. Next to it here, we have our little copper kettle that I thought would be absolutely gorgeous with a little plant in it, little ivy growing down the side, or even an air plant. Just a really fun and unique decorative item. I paid $4 for it, and I am going to ask $15. In front here, we have our little vintage Santa playing the harpsichord. He is fabulous. He's just singing away with his, uh, it's not a harpsichord, it's an accordion. <laughs> with his accordion, he is made by Brins, made in Japan. It has its original foil sticker on there. I paid $1.99 for him, and I am going to ask $18. I did end up grabbing this really sweet little folk art elephant. He has a flag blanket draped over his back. Just a super piece. He's on wheels. I paid $1.99 for him and I am going to ask $25. Here we have the baby Jesus in a manger. He does come off the manger there. I'm not sure why he needs to come off, but there he is. He does have a couple of chips uh, just here. He just looks like he is quite vintage. And I'm not sure whether he is or not. He does have a felt on the bottom haven't peeled the label to see if there is a sticker so let's do that I did pay three dollars for him and I am going to ask eighteen dollars does not appear to have oh wait no he does not have a maker's mark or a sticker on him, but I would think by the look of that felt, he is vintage. So if you are missing Jesus in a manger for your nativity scene, here he is. I don't think this little fellow made it to the video, but he was sitting on the Christmas shelf. The sweetest little made in Taiwan uh, Christmas decoration for a little tree. It's a little chap holding a mini tree. I think I paid 99 cents for him and I am going to ask $12. Back here we have our little table lamps that hopefully uh, will fit my ceramic Christmas trees as soon as I get those out of storage I will give it a go uh, and see if with any luck they actually fit onto these bases they do light up beautifully so with any luck they fit into my bases uh, they will light up the tree beautifully. Last but not least, we have 
this amazing antique. I do believe it is a bed warmer. They would place hot coals into the bowl of this piece and then the crown part would prevent the sheets from coming into contact with the hot embers. It has a little latch here that you pull to open like so. It's uh, on a latch on the other side. I have only been able to find one other piece like it listed or anywhere online. It is listed for $777 on Etsy. I will pop that listing in right here so you can see. It does have a repair on this side. It's been wired. has some definite age it's a fantastic piece if anybody can give me any additional information about this piece I would really appreciate it any uh, suggestions as to origin and or worth would be fantastic I paid six dollars for it and I'm really not sure what a accurate estimate of cost would be Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Goodwill trip and the haul. If you're interested in purchasing anything you see, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name and address, the price uh, I mention, and the item you're interested in. Stay tuned for some fun footage of Ziggy, Bandit, and Bear. And I will see you next time. Bye. It's early morning and Ziggy has found a comfy spot on my bedside table to wait for breakfast next to my favorite brass cat there. This week I put up my beautiful glass wall vases with my silk freesias and my metal hummingbird. Ziggy is making purry noises and taking care of my phone charger here. It's very sleepy. Are you ready for breakfast, Ziggy? Ziggy, you want some breakfast? <laughs> I am working on some packing and shipping this morning and I have an audience. Ziggy is on the dining room table watching and Bandit and Bear are on the stairs supervising the packing peanuts and the boxes. <laughs> Bear is very sleepy and Bandit is fascinated with the fact that he's just laying there at the bottom of the stairs and not granting him passage.
Ah, c'est bon. Ah, c'est bon. Can I have it? Can I have your ball? There.